Hey everybody, it's Dana. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and blog. Today we're going to play with some Bria Reese alcohol inks. I had the opportunity to have somebody sent to me and I wanted to show you guys exactly how they work. So we're going to be using Lake Blue, Ocean Green, Orange, Turquoise, and Medium Magenta. Now I know we've seen lots and lots of alcohol inks on the market, but I would tell you, I believe these Bria Reese ones work a little bit differently. I'm also going to use the Bria Reese waterproof paper. This is kind of like the Yupo paper we're used to. And then I'm also going to be using the Bria Reese waterproof panels. This is like a thick panel, like almost like a picture panel that you can use your alcohol inks on. So let's go ahead and get started. This here is a panel I previously made that I fell in love with. And this is what I used to first practice on. So you can see it's very, very sturdy, almost like cardboard with just that coating of like that waterproof paper on top of it. It's actually a very nice piece that you can either put into a frame or just have in your craft space. Before I get started, I am going to put on some rubber gloves because the techniques I'm going to share with you today are going to be quite messy. But wait until you get towards the end and you're going to see why I really need to have these gloves on. So these are just, you know, regular sterile gloves you can grab just from any like Walmart or Target. And I'm going to start off with that panel piece. So like, again, you can put this into a picture frame if you wanted to. You can actually stamp on top of this as well and put a greeting. I just like to have the panels and hold them for maybe ideals a little bit later. But this is like really, really smooth. And I think they make beautiful little background pieces. So to get started, I am just going to use a couple of the colors. I'm going to use the Lake Blue and the Ocean Green because that was the colors I used on the other one I just showed you. And I'm also going to use the blending solution with this. This is just a regular clear blending solution. And I'm going to use my heat tool to speed up some drying a little bit later. And I'm also going to grab my little blowy thing. This you can put like a marker, alcohol marker at the end and blow the color off the tip of it, but we're not gonna use it for that today. Now to get started, I am going to loosen up all of my caps because I want these ready to pour when I need them. The alcohol dries pretty quickly, so I wanna make sure that all my caps are off. I'm going in first with just the blending solution. This is just clear. And then I'm going to go in with that ocean green and just put a few dots down. Now you can see how easily this starts to move on this waterproof panel. I'm going to go ahead and grab my little tool because if you squirt this with air, it gives you a little bit more of a softer look, but you can also make hard edges with this. So this is why I like using this too. I also have seen people use a straw. You can do that as well. I just find out when I'm working with alcohol and using a straw, I have a tendency to get a little bit lightheaded. So I like to use this little air tool instead. So as you can see, I'm already off to a beautiful background. I don't really need much of this ink. That's what I kind of like about this ink is I don't need to use a lot of it to get beautiful results. To me, compared to some of the other alcohol inks, this ink just flows really pretty. I'm going to add a little bit more to the top corner, and then I'm going to go ahead and blow that just so I can get some of that color all the way to the end of my panel. I kind of want that wave look going straight across my panel. Now, since I'm done with that color, you can see I can get really soft edges on the outside. I can also get some really nice lines. If I want to soften up the edges, I can just go right back in with that clear blending solution and go ahead and squirt. Now, what I like, why I like doing this is I can get some really cool like strie marks that come off. So can you see those right there? All those little strie marks. But you can also see I have a very soft color as well towards the end of one of those sides. Next, I'm coming in with the blue lake. Just going to put a little bit of this down because I really don't want it to overpower the green. I want it to complement the green. Again, I'm just coming right back in with that clear solution. And as we all know, when we play around with the alcohol inks, that clear solution kind of 
almost erases some of the color if I, if I want to put it that way. It kind of makes it um, a little bit lighter, but you can also tilt your panels and get all of that to move. Again, I'm going to come back in with that little tool and I'm squeezing kind of hard at this point because I want to have those little strie marks right off when I blow it. I want to have those little flickery lines towards the end. I just think that looks really, really cool when you're doing this kind of technique. Now, if you don't want that, again, use a straw and use a light touch when you're squirting your air on there. I just have a tendency to love those little wispy colors that kind of like go off of the main part of the panel. I am gonna add a little bit more of that blue, just in little sections. As you can see, I'm not using a lot. I'm not like pouring it all over the card or anything like that. I'm just adding it in spots, tilting that panel and letting the um, alcohol do its job for me. One more time, I'll come back in. I'll squirt really, really hard to get those lines again. But this way I end up with a lot of texture on this piece instead of like just flowing color. Adding a little bit more of that right to the side to get that color blending and then squir squishing that like really, really hard to get that color to fan out for me. Now, if you don't want this look, you can definitely do a softer look. I happen to want this to look a little bit different than the panel I showed you earlier. I just want this to have like a little bit more movement, a little bit more texture in it. And you'll be able to see that when I show you these side by side. So the great thing about this kind of ink is you're gonna get a different result every single time. Nothing is ever going to look the same. It's kind of hard to be repetitive and make something exactly the same. You can have it with the same colors, but it does not have a tendency to always look the same. So it's like a creative process and I absolutely love that. So now I have the majority of the color down that I want. And I just going to add a little bit of more color right across the top. I just feel like that blue might have taken over that gorgeous ocean color. So I'm just gonna add two more tilt my panel and as you can see I'm always tilting my panel before I go back in and start blowing it. That's just to kind of get the color as well as the blending solution to kind of come together before I start blowing it. Now you just have to know when to stop. <laughs> just have to know when to stop because if you keep going you might not end up liking what you have and I'm going to show you how to correct that a little bit later. Next, I'm just coming in with a blending tool. I'm adding just a little bit of that clear solution on there. And I'm just lightly, very lightly tapping it down. This is going to give me some of those light splotchy kind of marks on my panel. And I'm not gonna overdo this, totally not gonna overdo this. Cause anytime you use the clear, it's going to pull up some of that color that we were just messing with. And I don't want that to happen. I just want to have some of that lighter spots in there. And look how gorgeous this panel is. I absolutely love how this comes out. Because again, you can't repeat this. So this was the first one I made. And this one's this one that we just made. Both of them are gorgeous in their own sense. So I'm going to go ahead and put this aside and let it dry. And I don't want to mess that up. Next, I'm coming in with some of the waterproof paper. I have myself my little blending tool here, and I'm gonna show you how to quickly make a background. I'm going to grab three of the brighter colors, which is the magenta, the orange, and the turquoise, and I'm going to stripe this right across that blending tool. Now, I did post a card, I believe it might've been last week or the week prior, of a background that looked very similar to this. So I thought I would go ahead and show you that on camera. All I'm going to do is take the first color, place it towards the top of my panel. Next, I'm going to come in with that orange. And I forgot to open up my bottles. I should have did this before I started, but that's okay. I'm going to place the orange right next to that beautiful medium magenta. 
and then I'm going to come in with that turquoise. I'm not going to add too much of this, but I'm going to add it right next to that orange. And really that orange and that turquoise together makes a really pretty green. So that's the reason I did not put the pink next to it. I'm going to go in one more time just with a little bit more of that orange down the center. And all I'm going to do is swipe right across this panel. And look what a gorgeous background we get. We get a really nice striped look, but it's so vibrant. That's the one thing I would tell you about these inks. They are so vibrant. So I'm going to try to go ahead and pick up that paper. And it dries really, really quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and set that one aside. I'm going to bring in another one. And all I'm going to do is take the tool and turn it. I don't want to waste any of that ink. So I'm going to give myself a nice little polka dot background with just using the ink that is left on this. Again, I don't want to waste this ink. It's just too pretty. Now we can get a really kind of jazzed up polka dot look splattered with color. As, as long as you just don't twist too hard, you'll get a gorgeous color variation on here. Like I have some purples and the pinks and the greens and the yellow and the orange. It looks gorgeous. Now I'm going to show you if you have a piece and you totally ruin it. I'm going to show you how to fix that. So again, I don't want to waste any of this. So I'm just going to start making myself some lines, drawing it right across that same paper. So this is a waterproof paper. And I'm like, huh, I don't like that. Oh, let me just see if I go the other way. Again, using up all the ink that is on that little dauber. Again, I don't want to waste the ink. And now I'm like, hmm, I ruined it. Don't like it. Now I'm just going to go in and start wiping up all that ink off of that dauber. Now, right now, I know you're thinking, this is a hot mess, Dana. I don't know what you're trying to share with us, but I don't want to waste this. So I'm just going to scrub off what's left onto that paper. And now I have a hot mess, but I'm going to show you how to fix it. All right, I'm going to grab another uh, little foam piece. This is just like felt. I'm going to put that on my dauber. I'm going to go, go back and this time I'm going to use some alcohol. So I'm just going to pour 91 proof or percent alcohol on this and I'm just going to start swirling it. And I'm going to start moving that color. Now, as you can see that alcohol is pulling up the lines and now I'm just getting color. So you're not going to be able to see all those lines I had underneath it because you're like, oh, that looks like a hot mess. If I just continue to swirl, I've just erased all those lines. Now you can have a really cool background like this, where it looks like you just have waves of color going across, or you can go ahead and dot some of that up and reuse this paper. I'm going to show you how that you'll never have to waste a piece of this waterproof paper and you'll never have to waste any of your ink. I'm just going to lightly go over that and I'm going to add a little bit more alcohol and I'm just going to go back and forth. This is going to give me like a pinky kind of shade left on my panel. So that's not totally going to go away. I'm still going to have some kind of color sitting on this panel, but I'm not wasting it. I'm not wasting this piece of paper. So I'm just going to keep pulling that color back and forth across. And I'm actually getting some of the color that is on my media mat as well. I'm just dragging it across. Now I just have like a nice wash of color. This could be really soft to do sentiment strips on, or you can add another color on top. Totally up to you, but don't waste your paper because we know that this paper can get expensive. But I'm going to show you another way. I'm going to grab another one of those pieces of foam. I'm going to go right back in and add myself some more color. Now, since I already have some color residue left over, obviously it's not going to show white. I'm going to add more than just the three stripes. I'm going to add six. Now, this is a good way to use up your ink. Just go back and forth in straight mode and look how gorgeous this looks. So I still have that same color variation like I had with the other stripes, but this time 
once this dries back, I'm going to get a totally different look. Just watch. I'm adding a little bit more of the ink, just the line, and I'm coming back and forth again. Just a little stripe. And look how bold that color is. But you can see, I'm not really getting mud with this. I'm just getting a brighter variation of the color. So some of the blue has overtaken some areas. Some of the orange has overtaken some areas. I'm going to add just a little bit more of the blending solution. And I'm just going to keep going back and forth. Now, again, you might be thinking, I don't know where you're going with this, Dana. I really just don't know where you're going. Because <laughs> this, to me, still looks like a hot mess. I like the striase in this. I like the line pattern in this. This, to me, starts to look more like a masculine card. So I'm just going to grab my heat tool and I'm going to dry this back. Now you can see how the colors have deepened. They're not as bright, but to me, this gives me more of a different color variation with the same inks. So I'm going to pull that up. Number one, look how shiny that paper is. It is absolutely gorgeous. So I would definitely use this for a masculine card. I like the lines in it, it kind of reminds me of like maybe painted wood. But I'm going to kick this up one more notch because you might not like it this way. But before then, I'm going to show you some backgrounds that I created by panels I could not like. I didn't like them at all. But look at the panels I made with them. This I did pouncing of silver across. So I get this like marbled look. This one I absolutely love. It was a panel that looked like horrible. And then this one is my favorite. This was just a whole bunch of ink that I did not like. I kept playing with it and this is what I got. So remember, don't throw anything away. I'm gonna intensify those lines on here. I just really wanna have a nice strie. I'm going to bring in some pinata gold and watch how this changes this color. So what you can see here, it's browns, it's greens, little pink, little hot pink, but I'm going to use that gold and go back and forth. And look how it's starting to change that color. Now I really look like I have wood, but are you seeing some green come through? It's like magic, <laughs> totally like magic. And as this begins to settle back, you're going to really start seeing the color change. So I'm just using what is left and just going in and again, just putting in those lines, totally just putting in the lines. Now this has already begun to dry, but look at the color depth I have with this now. And it looks like a great piece of wood. Now, I don't wanna waste any of what's left. I'm gonna show you another way to use every ounce of your ink don't waste it. Usually we just take a paper towel and we would clean that up. Not today. I'm going to grab some um, alcohol with my pipette and I'm just going to go ahead and put it on my mat. Now this is a glass mat from Tonic and it's pretty much stays on my desk or on my counter behind me for me to use. Next I'm coming in with regular tissue paper. You know, the one that we wrap gifts in or we put into our little gift bags. I'm pressing that right into that ink. We're not gonna waste a bit of this, you guys. And you're like, where are you going with this, Dana? Watch, just watch, patience. I'm gonna actually clean my mat with that tissue paper. So I'm getting up some of that color. I'm going around my mat. I'm getting my mat clean while I do it. And I am going to add a little bit more alcohol. Now the alcohol is actually evaporating, obviously. So it's not going to really ruin the paper because it's going to easily dry out of the paper. So now I'm going to take that piece of paper, again, just tissue paper. You can get like a hundred from the dollar store. I'm going to go in with a few drops of that pinata gold. Now I know you're probably thinking, well, I'm not going to wrap a gift with this. I mean, it looks horrible, but again, patience, you're going to see how this turns out that you can use it for a mixed media project or you can use it for your card panels. So now I'm just taking that tissue paper and balling it up. I'm just getting some of that gold to go all between the layers of this paper. So I'll lay it back out, see what I have, and I really love where the gold is. 
So as you can see, the paper looks pretty thin at this point, right? Because it's tissue. I'm going to go back in with just a few drops of orange. And then I'm going to give myself a little bit of that ocean blue. Again, just randomly putting it. No sense, no rhyme or reason. I'm going to grab that pipette again, and I'm going to add some more alcohol. Now this is going to obviously get the colors to start moving, but when you see the end product, product on this, you're gonna love it. Again, I have ink on there. I'm just rubbing and picking up all that color. As you can see, I keep opening up the tissue paper, flipping it over. I'm getting every ounce of color. So I'm getting a lot of that color variation in this now. I'm gonna crumble it up grab a little side of it and just clean up most of the gold that might be left on this mat. I'm going to crinkle it up one more time in my hand. So this is why you guys, I needed to have those gloves on because if you would have did this with your fingers or your bare hands, it would have been a hot mess. Now I'm going to go ahead and lay this out. I need this to dry. At this point, I can go ahead and remove my gloves and now my hands are nice and clean. And I'm just going to grab that heat tool. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start heating this back, drying up some of that alcohol. Now look what we have. We have a gorgeous piece of custom tissue paper that we can use on our mixed media projects. I'm gonna show you a little bit later how you just put it on a card. But I love how this looks. So never waste your ink. Grab a piece of white tissue paper and go to town. Here are the cards I made with some of those background pieces. This is going to be my Father's Day card, and this will be for my father-in-law. My son is graduating from Columbia University on Sunday, so this is going to be his grad card because he's so awesome. And I love the wood grain look of these letters. Next, there is that stripe piece. I muted it down a little bit by using just a taupey color paper with the shades of green. As you can tell, this is a very simple card. All of these cards are really simple with just the sentiment on them. Next, there is that panel we have with the polka dots. To pull back that color a little bit, I just put vellum on top and put a sentiment. So easy, a little bit of bling in the corners. And this card was done. Lastly, here is the tissue paper, you guys. I just glued it down on some deco foil double-sided foam and place the sentiment on it. And look how gorgeous it is. All I did was like smooth it out across that double-sided foam. And I have this gorgeous background and I have plenty left to make another card panel with. All right, that's the cards for today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Please feel free to subscribe and like. I will see you guys in another video soon. Take care everybody, bye-bye.